today's topic, Chris Brown. Did you hear what happened? No, what happened? Chris Brown had someone uh, um, come after him saying that he Weinsteined her. And so it became this big thing, and she took him to court. And Chris Brown has been pretty silent about these most recent things for quite some time. But recently, Chris Brown and his lawyers released a whole series of texts that ranged for a whole nine months in which this woman was incessantly messaging him with very little to no responses about getting back together and hooking up and hooking up. And when Chris wouldn't respond and wouldn't, well, then after that nine month period elapsed, she then said he did something to her. What time is it? Put the time and date. Why are you giving me like sick talks? You're like reading my messages and stuff, and you haven't blocked me yet, so I'm guessing you don't hate me. I just want to see you again. I mean, just answer the phone and then you just hung up. Like, just let me know. Like, if you want me to leave you alone, I definitely will, but I really just want to fuck with you again. Mind you, during this nine-month period at the beginning, she's alleged that basically she went to a Puff Daddy boat, boat party or something, and that's where he wine her at the party. But then nine months, for nine months after that, she was messaging him incessantly nonstop. Now, he's basically saying this girl's a clingy person. She's a stalker. She won't leave me alone. And now she's trying to get, go on my name. That's the general gist of the story. Mm -hmm. okay. I guess I could read some of the text. So she's seeking $20 million in damages because she claims he drugged her at the young party. Then afterwards, she started sending him lewd photos of herself, basically a bunch of, you know, <laughs> poom poom shots. She wants to see him again. Definitely didn't bust inside you. Just was hella faded, so I want to be sure. Okay, babe, that's fine. I want to bang you tonight at midnight. And then I'm later, what you doing? And then, babe... And then she sends him a message after a long time. Hey, this is my new number. Yeah, anyways, they've been banging. Okay, whatever. And listen, nobody knows what really happened on that evening. But again, if you... It looks sus. Can we agree at least on that much? Looks sus. What I do find interesting, and I think what is the main focal point of this story for me is... When this initially came out, the story initially came out, the news were all over it. Like usual. Chris Brown, look at him. He did it again. Blah, 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 blah. Then when this new evidence come out, not a single person report on it. Yeah, well, that's what they've been doing. Because, you know, you want you already depicted him as a bad guy. So the bad guy being bad again, who that sells, right? That mm. sells. It's mm. a lot. Mm. We got a story. Clicks. Yeah. We get clicks. We get likes. We get comments. I know you ain't shit. We know. We know. We, know. We, don't, the other way. We, don't want, we don't want people to get better. Yeah. We don't want people to better themselves right so that's what it is we like that we like that narrative i like cobra kai weird why they said that like that it's fucked up but the reason why i'm saying this is because all this all these years all these years you see uh the character kid being the winner and the other dude being the jackass uh -huh. now in cobra kai you see the opposite uh -huh. what happened and life is like that right. everybody's a bad bad person a bad someone bad for a villain to someone else. You understand mm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that's that. Yeah, you have to take that in consideration. Also, whenever people are not happy, when people are not happy with certain outcome, they become vindictive. The vengeance is real. I'm okay. I feel like that, so you suffer you should suffer that because this is not fair. You you're gonna you're gonna suffer my wrath. Yeah. Mm. That that's that's relationship how they work sometimes. Mm. You know? So you put you, you put the news. They just take advantage of that. It's just a story that a story that falls on their lap, and they just take advantage of that. Mm. The whole narrative of good good people, bad people, nothing in between. They don't want that. They don't ever want people to get. Chris Brown will do something good. They will never hear about that. Mm. And even if he does something about it, and you hear about it in the news, people are going to be like, "Yeah, he just want to do that because he want to look good." He's done a really twenty not, million in damages. Twenty million in damages. There's never a criminal case with these people. Twenty million. Twenty million in damages for you. You went back to it, and you. It's, it's <laughs> sus. It's sus. Sus. It really <laughs> sounds like vengeance. But then again, court of public opinion. Let's see what the court has to say, or how does that settlement goes after out of court but to me it's very sus and also some people are just trying to come off of a check that happens best believe i had scammers try to holler at me mm -hmm. that's happened 
I don't even make more money like that. So I can only imagine what Chris, that's why a lot of these athletes, these famous people are signed waivers. They take cell phones away. They do all that stuff mm -hmm. before they engage with anybody because they know it's too much of a liability to do stuff otherwise. And I'm not saying it's not some of them who obviously engage in bad behavior, undoubtedly, but it just, yeah, when they do something wrong, we talk about it uh, when it's proven wrong. Let's all keep quiet. One side of the aisle gets all the media attention, and by the time it's done, doesn't matter what happens, your brand is always taken off. And he says something interesting too. Every time his album is about to come out, the pressure comes out too. Why? Because they know, even if it's not true, if they put enough media pressure on him, he'll settle because it's going to be good for the album sales to just sweep it under the rug. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it's just a business move, which sounds crazy to people, but you can tank stocks, you can tank album sales, you can take tours with just like just a mere mention of certain things. So it's like, it's, it's you can't win society in a lot of ways. And his name is forever gonna be associated with something that's probably didn't even happen. That's weird, right? Yeah. Like you can never take that off. That's no. that's like, a, that's, that's, that's a stain that never, whether you're, 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 you're it's guilty or not. Doesn't Cause matter. the news was so spread around people when they, they had the evidence when that they, they heard that you did something. It was so spread, but whenever you didn't do anything and it was found that you didn't do anything or anything like that or the opposite, that news doesn't go out as much, mm -hmm. right? So there's more people out there that have this idea and this, I know, but aren't you the dude that, yeah, you did that. You're this and you're that and you're that and that. Yeah. But yeah, just wanted to bring you this story. Let us know what you guys think in the comments below. We want to hear from you. Do you think it's fair or not? Tell us what you think.